Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in my Football Manager series. This is episode number 7 and today we are returning with the big one, the big treble header, Brighton, Bournemouth and Fulham in three consecutive relegation six-pointers as we do everything we can to try and stay in this division. If we play the games though, shout out Carl, have him getting on off camera. And of course, just a one game off camera, it was the home game against Arsenal, which we did indeed lose by four goals to one. Uh, if you look at the team I fielded, though, I basically just said to the Gunners, just don't score more than five or six, please. Uh, I just let them have the win, as this game came just three days after the Liverpool game and three days before the Brighton game, which, of course, is much bigger and a little fixture. Uh, Malinkovic Savic scored for a penalty three minutes in. At that point, the game was already over three minutes in. Uh, Wobi scored twice, Aubameyang scored one. And uh, Mendes Lane did score his first goal of the season, so great to see that coming back from uh, that broken leg uh, and I see him get a goal but um, yeah we just got destroyed as we expected so when you look at the run we haven't won a game since January we've picked up one point since that win over Crystal Palace we've had a run of one two three four five six defeats on the trot and seven and eight eight and nine eight in nine of our last Premier League games have been a defeat for a possible 27 points we've picked up one <laughs> That's terrible. One point, and that's why as you can see on the table right now, we are still somehow just about a relegation zone. We've only been in it twice this season, but with six games to go, we're only one point clear of Bournemouth and Burnley in 18th and 19th place, respectively. Thankfully, we do have a game in hand on the Claret right now, but also Brighton, who were dead and buried midway through the season. We're only three points clear of them as well. So today's first game is absolutely massive. I mean, I say it's massive. It's, it's literally, what's the, what's the biggest... Uh, is, is anything bigger than massive? Gigantic, perhaps? It's just huge. It's absolutely huge. So, first of three games today. It's the Friday night kickoff. It's Brian at home. I've done a team meeting, so the morale is not as bad as it could be. And all the boys should be fit enough after being rested against Arsenal. So, this is our team for the game. 4-1-2-1-3. Come on, Cardiff. We cannot lose. At a point, wouldn't be terrible, but I think we need to win. We've got smoothies in goal. About for Bennett, Manga, Morrison and Patterson. The midfield trio being Cam, Rass, Arata and Tunnicliffe. On the wings, Murphy and Jason, who of late has been a bit poor. Jason's not been doing too well of late after a really good season. And up top, Neil Mopai. On the bench, Efridge, Conley, Gunnison, Rules, Mendes, Lang, Reed, and Zahore as well. So first game, it's Brighton. If we lose this, we're relegated. Passionately, I'm going to say to the boys, it's time to put an end to this poor run of form. Go out there and make it count. <laughs> and Mopai's lost focus. And Manga switched off. Brilliant. I've got absolutely no confidence whatsoever, as, as you can probably tell. I don't believe we're going to stay up at this rate. But... Yes! Josh Murphy, what a goal! Cardiff won! Brighton nil, what a start! Harry rolls in through, Josh cuts in from the left and just smacks one from 20 yards past Matt Ryan into the back of the net. Cardiff won, Brighton nil. We've barely scored! In this recent run, but it's Murphy with a goal, his third of the year. Oh, come on, Cardiff, free kick, Jason. And Ryan denies Morrison, and Brian get it away. What a star. It's encouraged the boys from the sidelines. What a start. Oh, they're frustrated by the feedback. Not, not a good shout there. They're probably like, shut up, Gaffer. We've got this. Manga on the ball. Rolls it through to Bennett. Come on, Cardiff. Where has this been since January? Here is Murphy. That man of the moment loses possession. And, uh, and here come Brighton with Kyle back towards Lewis Dunk. Cole, we've got ourselves a goal up. If we lose it from this position, I'm going to go ballistic. I might just resign. Come to find a whistle. Matty Ryan launched it long. Morrison does enough, and Patterson, get it on the ground, there we go, finds Tunnicliffe, it will pass out from in our own half, it's Harry Arter on the ball, through ball, Neil Mopai running through, one on one, blocked by Lewis Stunk, and Brighton will clear. Arter right now is dictating things, he's pulling the strings out there, half an hour into the game, still leading by a goal. If we can close out the first staff, still in front by one, I would definitely take that, Patterson to Jason. And here he is, our right winger, our best player this season. Back to Camaras. Now, Arta takes over. He's been dictating things today. Brilliant first half from him. Bennett down the left. Whips it in. There he is. Oh, his shot's blocked and Brian getting away. I thought that was the moment for him. Chance still alive, though. Brian didn't fully clear it. Camaras back to Tunnicliffe into Arta. Come on, can we find an opening? Camaras hits it long. Montoya gets it away and Brian get it back. Oh, and they've launched it long. They've launched it long. They've launched it long and they're through. Oh, over the bar, thank goodness. All right, there we go. 1-0 at the score heading into the break. Cardiff are 45 minutes away from their first win in over two months. 
Come on, I'm going to say nothing to the boys at the break. That always jinxes me in FM. Three of my players are motivated out there. And after my shout in the first half, they don't want me to do a team talk. They don't want me in the dressing room right now. They're having a players-only half-time team talk. Second half to begin. Come on, Cardiff. Oh, God, no. Tunnicliffe, don't. Don't do it, mate. Don't do it. You're on a yellow card. I, I might have to take him off. I think I'm going to take him off for Goodison. We've got half an hour to go. I don't want to make a change because we're leading, but I don't trust Ryan Tunnicliffe to stay on a yellow card. Goodison on. 29 minutes on the clock. We are still up by one. There's been nothing going on in the second half until now. Harry Art has had a sensational game. Plays that wide towards Bennett. And Bennett will play it back into him. And now Camarasa to Murphy. Nice football. And Murphy's shot goes over. Brighton haven't had a shot on target in the entire game. 15 minutes to go. I bet they get two on target and score two goals from it. These are the moments where I just wish the final whistle could come early, you know. I just wish the referee would just lose his stopwatch. Oh, no, 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 no. And donate. Oh, he's put it wide. What a miss. Final few moments. Right now, I'm just, I'm just wasting time, basically. I'm just wasting time out there. I'm, I'm just hoping that this will be our first win since January. Where is that final whistle? Just blow it now. If they score now, I'm going to absolutely lose it. Five seconds. It's normally 30 seconds of stoppage time. There's been a sub. Come on. Yes, there it is. It's all over. One down, two to go. Cardiff 1, Brighton 0. A rare clean sheet for us. And I'm going to passionately say to the boys, that was really special. As nobody gives a chance to be played magnificently. Congratulations. Cardiff City have won a game of football. Josh Murphy, you absolute beauty. What a wonderful goal. What a huge win. And Harry Arter, if we do stay in this division, I want to keep him here. I want to keep him here. I do like Arter. He's had, of course, a tragic event off the pitch. And I really do like him because he works hard, as you can see. He seems like a really likable guy as well. If he does stay, is there, a, is there an optional fee? There's not. Damn, if there was an optional fee, I'd probably take it up. I like him. I like him a lot. Man City versus Fulham here on the Saturday. Now, surely Pep's boy is going to get the job done there. And he did by three goals to one. So that means now we stay in 16th place. And we don't have a game in hand on Fulham. We've got games in hand on no one's right now. But Bournemouth have a game in hand. And if they win that, they can cut the gap on us to just one point And leapfrog Fulham in the table as well. All right. So Bournemouth drew their game in hand away at St. Mary's 0-0. So right now, no one has a game in hand in the bottom five. Uh, Leicester do have a game in hand, though. They're above us on goal difference right now. So when is that game being played? It's on Wednesday. So we'll play that game and see what happens there. And what I want to do head into the game as well is do a team bonding session. Because uh, I did a team bonding and a, uh, a community outreach session uh, before that Brighton game. There we are. And um, it, it really helped us. Uh, I, for those that wonder how I get on with the training, I just leave it to uh, to my assistant. I, I, don't, I don't modify it at all. But I have been doing individual sessions because a couple of you guys have been uh, pointing out to me in the comments and also on Twitter as well. Thank you for that. Uh, that. That these sessions here can be really useful mentally as well. So I'm going to change a couple here. So on Friday, we're going to do a team bonding session in the morning before the boys get on the bus and travel to Bournemouth in the afternoon. So there, was, there was some banter. There was some banter. Maybe, maybe they go hang gliding or something. There'll be some banter on the bus there. Everyone will be positive. Everyone will be in a jokey mood and they'll beat Bournemouth 3-0. That's what I'm dreaming of. Oh, God, Arta. Tight groin out for one to three days. Uh, Conley's going to miss the Bournemouth game. Not Bournemouth. Pat's going to start anyway. But Arta, don't you dare get injured for the rest of the season, mate. We'll go down if you go down. All right, so here we go. Wednesday night kickoff as we wait and see the results. Have we seen... Oh, yeah, there we go. We see it right there. Chelsea thumped Leicester by five goals to one, uh, which is good for the goal difference swing right now as well. Uh, because they will still stay in 15th place. So five games to go. No one has a game in hand and only six points separate the bottom six. Who is your money on to be in those bottom three places? This is quite nice to see. Nice little uh, relegation scrap uh, media preview here. So who's, who's got the worst run of fixtures out of all of us right now? Um, you'd, you'd say that's going to be tough there for Fulham with Spurs and Arsenal still to come. But we've got United away, Everton away, and then Wolves at home won't be easy either. Um, I, I'd say, looking at this... We've probably got the toughest run of fixtures to come as well, I would say. Leicester have got a couple of difficult ones there as well, with Everton away and, and City at home as well. I would say we've got the toughest run of fixtures, the toughest five to play. The odds are, are thoroughly against us right now, but we're still above the drop zone. When I just skip past that quickly, uh, Brighton just drew a Crystal Palace 1-1. 
And uh, that was their early kickoff on the Friday night. So they get a point, but they're still bottom. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Bournemouth away from home. Uh, Leicester are playing Burnley. What a big relegation six-pointer there in another fixture we'll keep our eyes on. But I'm, I'm bouncing up and down on my seat right now, man. I can't sit still. I got the jitters. Here we go. Bournemouth away from home. Massive clash where if Bournemouth win this one, I believe they'll leapfrog us in the table. They will indeed. So we could be in the bottom three come the end of 90 minutes. Come on, you Bluebirds. Let's get back-to-back -back wins. So no changes to our lineup for the game, of course. Oh, no, Arsene legend, isn't he? I forgot because he's playing against Bournemouth, his parent club. Oh, God, no. We're going to move out Arta. Uh, I'll start Joe Rawls in the park alongside Tunnicliffe. That is a huge blow. I didn't even realise it. Uh, we'll put, uh, put Hoylet on the bench. And, um, and Connolly is injured for the game as well. So Reese Oxford will come in as well. So that is a huge blow right before kickoff. So this is our team then. Smithies in goal. But for Bennett, Manga, Morrison and Patterson. Midfield trio, Camarasa, uh, Tinnercliffe. And now Joe Rawls filling in. On the wings, Murphy and Jason. And Neil Mopai up top. Should we, should we go as a Hore or Mopai? Mopai's been misfiring the late. Hasn't scored a goal in like two months. Let's go as a Hore. Let's go with Kenneth Zahore up there. Uh, on the bench, uh, Etheridge, uh, Reese Oxford, Gunnison, and Hoyle at Men's Lane. Bobby Reed and Neil Mopai as well. So second game, it's Bournemouth. I think we're going to lose this one. But we beat Brighton. We can get back-to-back -back wins. Come on, you Bluebirds. And Leicester have just taken lead against Burnley, which to be fair does us a favour. I want Leicester to win that game and pull away from the bottom three. So as things stand, 29th in, a draw would not be a bad result. With our final three fixtures to come, I think we'll probably lose them all. So we need to win either this game or the Fulham game and hopefully avoid defeat in the other one. So 30 minutes in, first chance forward into the Cherries. Adam Smith driving forward, great through ball. Josh King is one-on-one -on -one and puts it into the bottom corner. Cherries up by a goal with 15 minutes in the first half to go. I think it was Jason giving the ball away on the other flank as well. What's happened to him? I'll tell you what's happened to him, that penalty miss against Leicester. Since then, he's had a crisis of confidence. Hasn't played well since then. He's, he's blown it, Jason. He's, he's, he's lost it. He's lost a plot. Bournemouth in front, 15 minutes to go in the first half. This is going to be a devastating defeat unless we can turn it round. Oh, Smithy's poor kick. Poor kick straight to Stanislas. In the middle is King for two. Into the top corner. Terrible error from Alex Smithies, and we are in deep trouble. Look at this from Smithies. Just an awful kick out wire towards Callum Patterson. Junior Stanislas says, cheers, Alex. Rolls it into the middle, and uh, Josh for the finish makes it 2-1. Lovely strike, by the way, right into the top corner. So as things stand, Bournemouth will leapfrog in the table, but we'll still be ahead of Fulham, but only just. However, Fulham will have a game in hand. So half-time, two goals down. My word, we are missing Harry Arta right now. I'm going to get aggressive at half-time. We haven't got enough time to put an arm around the shoulders and say, don't worry about it, we'll sort it out in time. We've we, we got, we got to tell it how it is now. If, if we're to stay out, we need to tell it how it is. We're not performing, and we, we've got to string results together. So, uh, no change to tactics. 2-0 to score so far. We've got to get back into this one. Come on. Might bring on Mendes Lane for the final half an hour here. Uh, Jason's not played well out there. He's, he's really struggled since that game against Leicester. Psychologically, he's a broken man. Uh, I think we'll also distribute the play quicker. Uh, we will also... Oh, that's already extremely high. Uh, we'll also run at defence as well, because I like that. And um, we'll make those quick changes there to the tactics. But with 27 minutes to go, we'll also go attacking as well. Unless we can stage a very late fight back... It's going to be back to a familiar feeling of defeat as Murphy receives the ball and loses out to Lewis Cook and Bournemouth get it back. Begovic's long ball cut out by Callum Patterson. There is Mendes laying off the bench into Joe Rawls and Rawls goes for goal and Begovic turns it behind for a corner. Still 2-0, better though. Burnley have battled back to be 2-2 now at Leicester in the final few minutes there at the King Power. This game is done. Bournemouth are getting the win. They're going to leapfrog us to the table and... Oh, go on, Bobby. Go on, Bobby. Go on, Sam. Go on, Sam. Oh, he's blocked. He hasn't scored a goal since match day two. Rules his corner. Mendes Lane's header. Oh, Begovic keeps it across the line. Still 2-0. Okay, all right. Okay, there we go. Oh, Leicester, yes! Well done, Leicester. Last minute winner. And, God, that's a familiar feeling for us with the, uh, against them. Right, so I say to the boys, uh, far from pleasing what you saw from the team. Most players have got fired up after that feedback right there. And, uh, okay, so we're still above the relegation zone, but Fulham do have that game in hand, which I believe is going to come on the Sunday. Come on, Arsenal, you've got to win this. You've got to win this. Away at Craven Cottage. Don't you dare slip up. 
Come on, thrash him by three or four. We got him on the weekend. Yes, there we go. 2-0, I'll take it. I'll take it. Keeps us above them in the relegation zone right now. They have got a much better goal difference record over us, though, still, from despite the defeat right there. We, we've conceded 62 goals this season. That is the third, West, uh, third, worst, re third, West, third worst record in the division. Four games to go. I think if we can beat Fulham four points clear, I think just one point from our final three will probably be enough. All right, so we're going to do a community outreach session on the Friday night. And we're going to do a Saturday night team bonding session. We're all going to go out for drinks, get smashed, forget about our problems. And uh, I've been doing that a bit too much lately. And uh, right, come on. Fulham at home. L lose, the get lose the game and we're definitely relegated. So a couple of fixtures to keep your eyes on here on Saturday afternoon. Burnley at home to Watford. Leicester away at Goodison Park. I think Leicester are going to be safe now. I think they have enough to pull away. But uh, as for Burnley, if they win this game, we'll go into the Fulham game in the bottom three. They'll leapfrog us in the table due to the goal difference swing. So we need Watford to take points off them at Turf Moor. So come on, Watford. Do us a favour. you got to win that game for us, lads. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, 3-1. So Burnley remain in the drop zone. And we've got a game in hand on them as well, which is, of course, the Fulham game. And I think Brighton are playing tomorrow, are they? Yes, they're away at Southampton. And also Bournemouth are away at Arsenal as well at the 4pm kickoff. So you'd think that both of those teams should lose those games there. So let's find out. Oh my god, Brian! How have they done this? How have they done this? They were dead! They were dead in the table, like, uh, I don't know, like, midway through the season. They're, they're two points off getting out of the bottom three. If they pull this off, it will be the greatest escape of all time. Brighton and Hove Albion were dead and buried in the table. Is there a way to show uh, where they were, like, uh, in terms of the, the points halfway through the season? I don't think there is. Oh, here we go. First half of the season. Look at that. 19 games, no wins, five points. Second half of the season, I, I actually can't believe this. If they pull this off, I kind of want them to do it now. If Bournemouth win, oh, thank God, Arsenal thrashed them by five goals. No, thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. So we are still by the drop zone by a point. We have the game in hand on all the teams apart from Fulham, who, of course, we play in this, the third and final game today. But lose it, and we're in the drop zone and probably going down. This is, without question, the most intense relegation scrap I've ever been a part of on FM. So this is just so, so, so nerve-wracking, man. In a personal save or one for YouTube, I've never had one as intense as this. This is going to be the biggest game of the series so far, no question. So, here we go, 4-1-2-3 for, for the big game. And here we go, jo uh, Harry Arts back in, thank goodness for that. But this is our team, Smoothies and Goldback for a Bennett Manga. Morrison and Patterson, midfield trio of Camaras, Arata and Tunnicliffe on the wings. Murphy and Mendes Lane, who's been itching for a start since he came back from the broken leg. With Jason underperforming, he's going on the bench. But as for up top, we're going to make one last minute alteration. Neil, our top scorer in terms of our strikers this year, in for Zahore, who has been really inconsistent. On the bench, Efridge, Oxford, Gunnison rules, Jason, Bobby and Kenneth Zahore as well. Third and final game, it's Fulham. Lose it and we're going down. The draw is not enough here. 20 minutes in. Only one shot in the game so far, and it came off target as well. Um, I'm going to have to quickly say to the boys here, push forward. Push push forward. Get a, get a chance. Get something going. Here we go. 32 minutes in, but the chance is going to come to the visitors. Ryan Sessegnon on the ball. Into Jean-Michael Seri. Now Kearney takes over. And Tom back towards Zamboy. Fulham go in front. Honestly, just, just put us in the championship now. Schurler. Mitrovic. Oh, just over. Come on, Cardiff. This is not the start we wanted. This is not the start we needed. We, we, we need to go at Fulham here. We, we, we've had two shots and not a single one on target in 33 minutes. It's not enough. It's not enough. Get the ball forward and let's get some chances. Come on, Arter on the ball. Whips it out wide towards Murphy. The game winner against Brighton attacking down the left. And he's beaten Zambo. And he's shot straight at Rico. Come on. That's it for the first half. No, it's not. There's a chance. Bennett on the ball. It's a Camarasa. Tunnicliffe. With acres of space here, but don't shoot, mate. You're not going to score. Out wide towards Patterson. Oh! Thought it went in. All right, there we go. There we go. Half time. We've been the better team. We're dominating a possession right now. And uh, here we go. So the, 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 boys are, the boys have got good body language out there right now. So I'm going to say to the boys passionately, it's time for everyone to dig in and give everything you've got left tonight. We deserve to win this match, so let's go and do it. No one's reacted. Brilliant. Tactically, we need to change a couple of things, I think. And I want to start running the defense a little bit more. Um, we're also going to stop passing the ball into space as well. That's not worked out for us uh, of recent weeks. Uh, and I think we'll distribute quickly as well. Try and, try and get the tempo up a little bit here. 
And we'll also go to a more attacking style of play as well. So, second half to begin. Still 0-0. It's not going to be enough, though. We need a winner. Come on, highlight for Cardiff. Ten minutes after the restart with Camarasa finding Callum Patterson. And now we'll pause cross. This is Josh! Josh Murphy turns it in. Neil with the cross. Murphy denied by Rico. He turns in the rebound. And Cardiff have got in front. Come on! Camarasa to Callum Patterson into Mopai. I want him to score the goals. He's not scored, I think, since the start of the calendar year. But Josh Murphy's got two in three. And they could be the biggest goals of his career. Cardiff won, Fulham nil. I'm going to encourage the boys as well. I'm going to encourage them. Oh, they've got frustrated by the feedback. Whoopsie daisy. Still leading by one. Tunnicliffe, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. you got to come off, mate. Gunnison, bring him on. He's a leader. He's a leader. He can lead this team to the victory, which we so sorely need. 15 minutes to go. We're still up by one. Oh my goodness gracious I me, mean, there's only two minutes to go. There's only two minutes to go. Where's the time gone? I don't care. We're into stoppage time. And we've got 33 seconds to hold on to a win, which will put us up to 15th place. Oh my god, if, if Fulham score an equalising goal here, I'm going to tear my hair out. Sergio Rico carries it forward and finds Tim Ream. Just keep them in their half and we'll win this game. Just keep holding the ball, just keep holding the ball, just keep holding the ball! 1-0 the final score, we win 2 of 3, which is what I asked for. Now, the loss to Bournemouth was, of course, disastrous, but... With three games to go, as I passionately say to the boys, good work out there, lads. You did what was needed of you tonight, which they did. Everyone is fired up. We move up to 15th place, and we go, what? Four points off the drop zone. So there's three games to go. We're not there yet. But two big wins today have given us a really good chance of staying in this division. No one has a game in hand. This is the table with the final three fixtures to come. I think if we get one more win, then that will basically do it. One win in our final three games, and we stay in the Premier League. So, that will be today's episode of the Football Manager Series, guys. We're a big fan. Of course, we hope you have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy today's episode, I'm fist bumping, and please drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. Sorry, I just, I just did the outro, and I said I was going to come back for the final game, which is Wolves. But, of course, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play the final three games on camera, obviously. Manchester United away, Everton away, and Wolves at home. Another triple header, because we can't miss any of the final three games. So, I will come back for the triple header and the final three, where the curse of Soul Bamba has been lifted. And if we get one win in these final three, we'll stay in the Premier League. Have a great night, guys. Much love, and I'll see you for the season finale very soon. Come on, you bluebirds!